I was a, a lecturer at university for about seven years prior to my becoming involved in rhino conservation. And the reason that that happened was because we had experienced a, a poaching on our own reserve. And bearing in mind that all of the animals we'd had there uh, were animals that I'd grown up with. There was a, a very small rhino calf that had been discovered cowering next to the carcass of its mother. They suspected that it was about three months old and that it had been hovering around with her for, for about a week before they actually found it. He'd gone completely blind from the trauma and you're trying to minimize its stress levels, but the only thing that it can smell is humans and, and humans were responsible for doing the worst possible thing to its mother. I'd never actually heard a rhino wail wail like a human baby for its mother and wail for hours on end. It was November and it's the rainy season up on the high felt and he would be outside in the rain and he would just be walking in circles, in circles, in circles. We would try to get him to latch onto a bottle and he would refuse the bottle and eventually start a tube feeding, which obviously must also have traumatized him. But that's when I realized I, I, physically he, he He's not so badly injured that he can't survive, apart from the damage to his eyes. He was actually in fairly good health. And, um, and he would go and he would lay down outside and he would literally just drop his head into water puddles like this. And I would go and sit and wrestle his head onto my lap out of the water. And then he would walk five steps away and he would do exactly the same thing. And I would lift it onto my lap and say, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Until eventually someone said to me, do you realize the reason he's not dying is because you keep asking him to. And so that night I was with him in his pen and I would stroke his ears and breathe, breathe into his ears. He seemed to quite like that. And I said to him, if you want to, if you want to go and be with your mommy, then I'll understand. Thank you for staying. Thank you for staying with me for so long. And then he died.